welcome back. And so we're picking up here in Firelink Shrine, and you notice something's wrong. The firekeeper is absent. Well, the trek's gone. And her corpse is here, along with a black eye orb. So she's been murdered by the trek. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter, I tell you. Damn. That oh, maybe it's time I do something. Yeah, you do that, buddy. So here's the Pyromancer guy. Well, I see you made it out. <clears throat> yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancer in the Great Swamp, so I can use the madness with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'd be pleased to help you. Ah, oh, unless you find the magic's unsafe. Really, but it, I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. I'm dead. I only wish that, that, that I. Don't worry about that. It is kind of difficult to oh, figure out what he's I'll asking. Oh, and uh, I'll be pleased to. Assist. Oh, really? But oh, good it, God! I'm on the. I only... Oh, hello. I'll be, oh, I'll be. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully fledged pyromancer. Why, well, let's get started right now. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer <coughs> must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture. And pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning out there didn't change a thing. <laughs> So to help your pyromancy flame, you have to upgrade it. <clears throat> As you can see, it E scales with uh, intelligence. So and you can purchase different spells from him. So tells you how many uses you have of each so just be aware of that uh, I'm not really interested in be safe are you dead not really interested in using anything right now uh, so we're gonna go got a few items you know things we need to take care of first here I mean let me run back here real quick I think that should be enough. So the trader guy we found in the depths is over here now. Climbing on up here. Just gonna run past this dude. Yeah. Damn you. Just 
kill a rat friend. So now we're gonna go this way. <clears throat> Picked up a bunch of poison arrows because we're gonna need them uh, once we get further on. Our scythe is plus 10 now. Uh, I was looking at it when it was plus 5, it was 150 base damage, and then our scaling was 67 additional, and now it's up to 200 base damage, so that's increased by 50, and our uh, scale damage is up to 91 now, so. Doing pretty good. So with the uh, second belt of awakening being rung, we can now get into Sin's Fortress, where we were uh, held up with the uh, Gate that the Onion Knight said that we couldn't, he couldn't get past. Well, we can get past that now. Alright. <clears throat> so, we want to purchase some fire bombs. I'm not really sure how many I should get. Probably buying too many, but eh. eh. Oh, thank you. All right. So there are two ways we can go. We can go to Dark Root Garden, or we can go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. I picked up a new set of armor, as you can see, on the way out of the uh, Light Town. I do highly recommend that you. Uh, don't try and leave Blight Town with uh, your souls that you got from killing Quilag. Your chances are you're going to die on the way back out, so don't need to be, you know, just losing those to gravity. So certainly want to make sure you're, you know, getting rid of those. Here, kill this guy just in case. Yeah, there are these guys.
<clears throat> All right, here's our trap guy before, but since he's used the trap, he doesn't have it anymore. I haven't forgot about the knight down there, but we can always come back and get him. So we use the watchtower basement key. I'm gonna go ahead and get our health back up fully, because there is a mean, mean man down here. See if that's lighting me up enough. Yep, good. Is there down there? Nope. One more level. So this is Havel, and Havel is just carrying a big tooth, as you can see. Do not let him hit you with that. It does hurt. A lot. There we go. Got it. We wanted that because we get Havel's ring. Now Havel's ring. Havel's ring. Increases our equipment load max that we can have by a tremendous amount. Um, I mean, just absolutely tremendous. Okay, so we have exited here, and here we are in Darkroot Basin. Now we can go this way, over towards those falls, or we can go that way. I would recommend going this way. Uh, we do not need to head over there. There's a, at this moment, there's a Hydra over there. Don't need to mess with them yet. There are these crystal golems, whatever you want to call them. Uh, don't need to mess with them right now either. a little more stealth here. Alright, so there is a knight down here. Can I see him yet? No. Nope. There he is. He's guarding a bonfire, so... You don't want to fight him down here. <laughs> Whatever you do. Bring him up here. Hey, buddy. Yeah, that's out of where we want right down there. Where'd he go? Did he not pursue me? Here he comes. 
Ah, man. Yeah, that cat ring is doing some, I mean, ring of fog is doing some work here for us. I like this thing. There we go. Got our blue tight night trunk. I figure, hey, why why take a chance, you know? Gonna head in here. Grab the bonfire, not gonna kindle it. And you notice I am dead. Or undead, however you want to put it. Uh, there is a elevator here that we can activate. That will take us down to the Valley of the Drakes. Um, not really coming this way right this minute, so go ahead and leave that alone. We'll go ahead and grab the uh, item here, though, which is the Grass Crest Shield. Blocks a lot of damage, but it's not a hundred percent, and it actually um, it um, regenerates your stamina, kind of like the Chlorinthy ring does. So, um, you know, if you want to have one or the other, you know, go right ahead and use them. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and stop here, and we'll pick back up, take it on the Hydra next episode. So. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll subscribe if you've enjoyed it. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. And give the thumbs up to the videos. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.